you've built a little starter house. It's cozy, it's functional, and it's got a plain roof. I'm going to show you six easy ways to make your roof just that little bit more interesting and to give your starter house just a little bit more character. I've got two houses here. One has a roof based on an even number. The other has a roof based on an odd number. So let's start with giving your house a bit of history. Maybe you want a house that looks like it's been there for a while. It's getting a bit old. It's easy enough to do. We're going to sag the roof. I'm going to start with the odd numbered A-frame roof because this is the easiest one on which to do this. We're going to come to about the middle of the roof and knock out some of those slabs. Yeah, about a third. Now we replace them with slabs half a block lower. Knock out, oh, let's see, one more either side. We're going to place a slab in there and a trap door on top to match. And now take out the last slab on each side and replace it with a stair. So it faces in like that. And now we have a roof with a definite sag in the middle. Can we do this on a roof with an even number? Let's give it a shot. Same thing, we're knocking out about a third in the middle. Replace it with spruce slabs. Now we're going to take out two lots of stairs either end of that sag. Going to replace the innermost ones with slabs and then trapdoors on top. And then the next ones by just ordinary slabs. That's another one. If you want to make the sag less pronounced, knock out a few more of these. until you're happy with how it looks. I think one more. That's not bad. And if you want to make sure that the top is spawn proofed, put down either pressure plates or buttons. There we are, one saggy roof. Another thing you can do, and this works equally well on even and odd numbered houses, is you can knock out random stair blocks and replace them with full blocks to match your roof. In this case my roof is spruce. Just makes the roof look a bit more broken up, a bit more uneven. Again, spawn proof it with pressure plates or buttons. So there we have it, old rundown roofs. Another thing we can do, and this works on rundown roofs or pristine roofs, is we can add spikes to the roof ends. I've brought the roof back to its original shape so that we can start from scratch. We're going to start on the odd numbered roof because that's probably the easiest way to do it. Come up to the top, get rid of your end slab and put in a stair. Do the same at the other end. Now come round to the other side and put an upside down stair. That's probably your simplest form of spike. You can also extend it out. Slabs are a good way to do that. And you can, of course, make all sorts of weird and wonderful shapes. You can curve it back on itself. You can make animal heads. It's up to you. Can we do the same on an even numbered roof? Let's find out. For an even numbered roof, you need a slightly different approach. You can just extend the sides out one. That's not too bad, little plane, but it works. You can also make horned gables. So you do that by putting upside down stairs on top of where you've extended the roof. And don't forget, of course, to spawn proof the horn gables, either with pressure plates or buttons or carpet. 
I'm sure there are other ways you can make end spikes on an even numbered riff. I'd love to see what you come up with. And of course the spikes work really well with a sagged roof. Maybe you're after something that's less Viking or Saxon. Maybe you're after something a bit simpler and a little more modern. What about ridge capping? Again, we're coming to the odd numbered roof. Get rid of all the slabs along the top. Place a stair at each end facing as I've shown. And then using stairs, go right the way along the top. Work from the outsides in. If you've got an odd number along the top, you can choose where you want to put two that meet, or you might want to have a couple of areas that do that to make a pattern. Your other option is to put a chimney at one end, and then you can just have straight capping right the way along. It's a bit harder to do on the even numbers. I'm not sure if we can achieve it. Let's give it a shot. All right, it is possible, but you have to do a slightly larger pattern. So if we come to one end, leave the first two, take out the next two and place them sideways. Leave the next ones, take out the next two and again place them sideways and keep doing that all the way along. If you come to a space where the pattern doesn't work, pop in slabs or again, put in a chimney. Ridge capping does work on both. It's much, much easier on odd numbered roofs. Another way to make your roof a little more interesting is to extend it out the front. So I'm going to take off the bottom row of the roof. I'm going to replace it with a row of matching slabs. I'm going to do another row at the same level and one more half a block down. And I'm going to add fences at various points for support. So we've lifted our roof up a bit by adding a slope at the front to make a little veranda or porch. This also adds a bit more character to your house overall. And of course this works equally well on an even or odd numbered roof. The final idea for lifting your roof is a little more complicated but if you can pull it off, it looks good. That's dormer windows. Dormer windows are those little gabled windows that you get on the sides of roofs. The best sizes for dormer windows would be three or four blocks wide. We'll go with both. And it doesn't make any difference whether your house is built on an odd number or an even number. They function exactly the same. So let's start. We'll take our one, two, three, four blocks here. Uh, we'll take out the next four and we'll start by building up the sides of the window. So we just extend our wall up and I will take those out. That's our window end. Glass in and now let's deal with the roof. So we come up and we place stairs on our roof. Do that on both sides. Now we want to join this to our existing roof. So we look at where our stairs meet and we remove any stairs that are in between them and see how they automatically mitered. Let's extend this one more. Now these two, we're going to have to replace at least one. Oh yes, just one because that one snapped around. And now under here, upside down stairs just to neaten up that edge. You can, of course, place one either side here. And there's our dormer window. You can put one in or two, three, four, doesn't matter. So let's do a dormer window that's three blocks wide. This works exactly the same. Let's just take out three stairs from the bottom layer of our roof, take out three more from the next layer, and let's build up our window. Ideally, you want the ridge of the window to be below the ridge of your roof. Let's pop some glass in and now let's piece our roof together. So we put stairs on top of the roof of our window and one there and one there. 
Now let's remove the one in the middle. Oh, it snaps around beautifully. And this time, spruce slabs along the top. Now let's tidy this up. And there's our dormer window. Let's add another one here. And I've taken out this upside down stair and replaced it with a slab because it just looks just that little bit better. So there's dormer windows. And that's six ways to make your roof just that bit more interesting. And don't forget, you can mix and match any of these, put them together, see what sort of roofs you come up with. And there are links on the screen now to some more tutorials like this. Have fun!